Here's 15 of the most unique fursuits that I saw at Midwest Fur Fest. One was from Willy's Wonderland, the Nicolas Cage movie. This looks movie. like a spider. It's really cute. These two were wearing lab coats. God, I love that salamander looking mask. This really realistic looking muscular dog suit. Very cool. Number five, Star Cry the Cat has permanent tears in her eyes. Stars too. The mascot style costume is pretty rare at furry conventions. Oh my God, I love these two so much. They're so cute. This is Zipner, a sugar glider. Check out the paws. I'm a huge sucker for the strawberry lemonade color scheme. Just look at the gorgeous pastel colors and the dress. Another animal you don't see that often, a leopard seal. Oh wow, the colors in this fursuit are incredible. People always ask me if I've ever seen a frog. Yes. I have never seen anime fursuits before. Now I have. I love the material these dragons used for their wings. It's really creative. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the fursuits. Hello there. I have a new suit up video for you today, this time featuring my character, Kokoro. This character was one that I bought as a mini partial from Kemono Copy at Anthro Northwest. Thankfully, I had some wonderful friends who were able to pick her up for me because I had to cancel last minute and couldn't attend the convention. Since then, I created the rest of her bodysuit, her feet, and her new tail. And I am super duper happy with how she came out. She looks so cute, and her body has this really neat silhouette to it. I wanted her to look kimono-inspired to match her beautiful kimono head, but I didn't want to exactly replicate the style that makes kimono suits so unique. So I think this little hybrid between my style and the kimono style worked really well here. I also altered my foot paw pattern to give her extra cool, big, clawed feet. And she even has indoor finished feet bottoms and cute little dew claws. I still have a really good amount of movement in her, and I love the way that her hip wings bounce around when I move. She's so cute! Thank you for watching! Have a good one! Behind me. Baby, the only thing I see when I look behind me is 50 pounds of ass! Go! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Rest in peace. <laughs> the process! <laughs> you know, I might have to do some weird explaining to my neighbors why there are giant dog tracks. Yeah, they're not, they're gonna know we're furries pretty soon. Beans. I just gained a crazy amount of respect for you crazy motherfuckers that wear these fucking things so often. I'm dying. Like, it's so fucking warm. It's cute, though. <laughs> animals I have yet to see a fursuit of, but I would love to. Number one, a worm. I feel like someone somewhere could pull off a worm. Two, anatomically incorrect bone creature. You know the kind that like craft stores made of? Yeah. They don't know that spiders don't have bleeping bones. Love to see a bone spider. Number three, the flat fish. There needs to be more fish in general. But also this one's really funny, so.
Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> activity to do with a friend. Y'all should come over and help. Seriously. Oh, wait. Okay. There's metal. There's metal in Ooh. there. You see it? There it is. There it is, folks. Yeah, guys, but I'm planting this stuff in here, obviously. Here we go. It's glued in there, too. Mm. Well, I already showed how you can see it in the front. Oh, I'm, man. I'm I know, right? Here, I'll help you out there. Here, I'm gonna take my finger away for a second. Yeah, let me... He's already digging into my skin. Let's, and uh, let's be tender with this. I mean, not the base. Who fuck cares? And guys, seriously, this is really sharp. Like, this, you can see right here, even in comparison to the scissors, that is ridiculously sharp, and that can seriously injure somebody. So please, this is, this is not even a joke. Like, this is... There we go. Yeah. Money, money, money. So just remember, if you're on fire, stop, drop, and roll. One more time. Say it with me now. Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Esto, estos son las Fursuits. Pero, ¿qué pasa si te digo que hay diferentes tipos de Fursuit? Cuando tú pides una de estas, te dan estas opciones: Full Head, que solo es la cabeza, Mini Parcial, que ya incluye las hand paws y cola, Partial, que literalmente tiene las patas y algunas veces manga, y el clásico de todos, Full Suite, que ya se divide en Deity Grade o Planty Grade. Lo curioso es que también están las Full Suite NSFW que básicamente es para hacer cosas más 18 Incluso están los Tech o Tech Suite que ya vienen siendo Full Suite de Protogens y Synth Y aunque tú podrías decir que es para hacer estas cosas literalmente también se aplica para otras especies Que es ponerle cámaras, LEDs, hasta consolas ¿Qué te parece? Tú tendrías una Wow, the cat is very cute I like the cat. Do you like the cat? Did it kill it? Why do you do this? I'm very angry. You are a greedy person. Because it will kill us. But he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Kuchi, 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 kuchi.
wants bamboo. Here come the airplane. Oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. another edition of how could anyone hate fursuits when they look this flipping cool as always whenever i go to a convention i'll ask the fursuiter for a little video if the fursuit stands out to me if they're really cool or really unique looking or just like really cute and i really love sharing them with everybody i think it's important to show people just how creative furries are and these fursuits are works of art. They are one of a kind. They are beautiful moving masterpieces. Yes, they are very expensive. And conventions are expensive to attend as well. But I love going to them because you don't see stuff like this anywhere else in the world. Thank you to everybody who posed for me at Further Confusion 2023. Y'all look great. <laughs> In the early 2000s, there was a revolution going on in fursuit making. But there was one artist blazing a trail on their own. Carzel wasn't like the other costume makers building brightly colored neon dogs. Instead, they faced obstacles going out on their own to build costumes that looked impossibly real. Realistic fursuits are a style of cosplay to ask what would a fantasy creature really look like? These costumes focus on realism and are jam-packed full of details that help bring their character alive. Carzel faced many challenges to create such realistic costumes. For example, learning to sculpt is hard, but it allows you to build a base to build everything off of. From there, layers of fur are attached and then glued on before everything is airbrushed to give it its final marking. With years of hard work and dedication, Carzel was able to master their setbacks and create some truly wonderful pieces of art. Their studio, Clockwork Creatures, is regarded as one of the best for creating realistic fursuits. They're so successful because of their dedication and their willingness to go out on their own. Their fursuits help define a style while simultaneously pushing the boundaries for realism and costuming. Part 4. Once you have all the lining glued in, if you're doing teeth, don't glue in the mouth lining all the way. Draw out the teeth shape, then cut it out of fabric. Then sew them together. Sew them, turn them inside out, then stuff them. Then hand sew the top closed. Cut a slit where the teeth go and glue them in. Then mark out where the teeth go, cut a hole, and push the teeth through. Then glue down all the edges. Now for the eyes. I have them drawn out, then sized properly onto paper. I tape my buckram to paper, then I run it through my printer. Make sure you paint the back of the buckram black. Also, I used a sharpie for that. You can also paint them, but I like doing it this way. Then glue them to the eye blanks. Then glue them onto the head. Make sure you put it on a few times to make sure it fits right. And if you have any overhang on the sides, just add pieces of foam to smooth it out. Then glue on some fabric for the nose. Now you can start taping the head. If your pattern is symmetrical, you can just tape half. Now draw on all the patterns. Then mark any big pieces into sections that will lay flat. Then mark the color, number, and fur direction of each piece. Cut them out, then trace them onto fur. 
Shave the pieces that need to be shaved, cut them out, then sew them together. Hello, and I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a suit up and assembly for this fursuit commission that I did. This character has several parts that zip off of the body for both easier transport, easier cleaning, and so that the client can actually partial with it. The arms zip onto the body and the wings slide through two little holes that are in the back of the torso, as well as the tail having this part that it zips onto the bum directly, and then there's this nice little sleeve that pulls over top of it and hides the seam. The feet also zip onto the body. Each one is marked for left and right accordingly. And once they are all zipped onto this body, you can see that it's perfectly ready to go. Kind of neat seeing it all together like that, isn't it? And now we get ready to actually put the thing on. But you know what? You can't just put a fursuit on with normal human clothes. You need to go into your under armor, protect that inside from the sweat and keep it clean and smelling fresh. Once you put it on, it's basically like putting on a pair of pants, slip into the shoes inside, put the arm straps for the wings over your shoulders, arms through the armholes, zip up the center, and then just put on the paws, same as you'd put on any kind of gloves. I personally prefer to do the head first and then the hands so that I can be able to adjust anything if needed. Putting on my non-dominant hand first and then using my dominant hand and the other to kind of snug the other one on. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, ta-da! There it is! Look at that beautiful fluffy suit! This character's name is Bean, and they were done for Cottage Dutchie, whom I will tag below this video. This character was a lot of fun to make, and I tried a lot of new things with their build to try and push my abilities as an artist even further than they already are. I'm really proud of the overall shape of the digi, the cleanness of the feet, as well as that absolutely incredible head. This is honestly the best head I've ever made, and I couldn't be happier. I hope Bean loves their new home and makes lots of fantastic memories with all their new friends over in the Czech Republic. Gonna be super duper fun! Thank you so much for sitting through this awesome little two minute video. Doodles! Who talk behind my back? Cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear. Why you want to know why you 
ਤੇ ਦੋਸ behind my back cuz the bitch knew better than to let me here Oh, my love. 
bad grades. I was in love with my soda. She makes me look like a stripper, man. Most of you like the actors, man. I wanna be with you. I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear Who talk behind my back? Cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear.